How to steam your face. Steam treatments open your pores and increase circulation, leaving your skin clean, flushed, and glowing. If you want an easy way to look refreshed, you can steam your face at home. You can even add scents to a steam treatment to create your own aromatherapy session. Steaming your face. Bring a small pot of water to a boil. A basic steam involves nothing but water and your skin. It doesn't require much water. Fill up a small pot with 1 to 2 cups of water and bring it to a full boil. wh.performance.mark step 1 underscore rendered. Wash your face. While the water is heating up, wash your face using a gentle cleanser. Be sure to remove all of your makeup and any dirt, oil or sweat that's sitting on the surface of your skin. It's important that your skin be clean when you steam it. Your pores will open wide, and if you have dirt or makeup on your skin, it could cause irritation. Don't wash your face with an exfoliating scrub or harsh soap. Before a steam, it's best to wash with a very mild cleanser, to reduce the chance that the steam treatment will further irritate your skin. Pat your face dry with a soft towel. Pour the steaming water into a bowl. If you're doing the steam treatment as part of an at-home spa treatment, pour it into a big, pretty ceramic or glass bowl. If you just want a quick steam, you can leave it in the pot. Place whatever vessel you're using on a few folded towels on top of a table. Don't pour the water into a plastic bowl. You don't want small plastic molecules getting involved in your facial steam. Be very careful that you do not burn yourself. If you decide to leave the water in the pot, then make sure to remove it from the heat source before using it. Add essential oils or herbs. Now's the time to add essential oils or herbs to the water to make the treatment a little special. If you add oils or herbs, the steam treatment will double as an aromatherapy session, so it will be a two-in-one treatment. Just a few drops of essential oils goes a long way. Be sure to add any extras after you've taken the water off the boil. Otherwise, the scents will quickly evaporate. If you don't have any special oils or herbs, try tea. Put a few herbal tea bags in the water. Chamomile, mint, and chai all make excellent steams. Steam your face with a towel over your head. Drape the towel over your head so that it drops down on either side of your face, trapping the steam so that it concentrates near your skin. Place your face close enough to the steaming water to feel it massaging your face, but not so close that your skin feels like it's burning or you're having trouble breathing fresh air. A typical steam lasts about 10 minutes, so you may want to sit down while you do the treatment. However, keep in mind that you can receive many of the same benefits if you stop after 5 minutes. Don't steam your face for much longer than 10 minutes, especially if you have acne or other skin issues. Steaming causes the face to swell, and it can exacerbate acne if done for too much time. Draw the dirt from your pores with a mask. The steam treatment leaves your pores wide open, making this the perfect time to draw out the dirt and other impurities. The best way to do so is to follow your steam treatment with a clay mask. Smooth the mask over your face and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. Wash it away with warm water and pat your face dry with a towel. You can purchase a clay mask in the beauty section of your grocery store, drug store, or large store, such as Target or Walmart. If you don't have a clay mask, use plain honey or a combination of honey and oatmeal. If you choose not to use a mask, you can simply wash your face with warm water after the steam treatment. Don't use a strong exfoliant on your skin after steaming, especially if you have acne. Since your face will be slightly swollen and your pores will be open, scrubbing it could cause it to become inflamed. Tone your face. After you rinse your mask away, use a facial toner to help your pores close back up. Apply it to your face in gentle strokes using a cotton ball. Lemon juice makes a great natural toner. Mix one tablespoon with one cup of water. Apple cider vinegar is another great option. Mix one tablespoon with one cup of water. Moisturize your face. Steam and heat cause the skin to dry out, so it's important to follow your treatment with a good moisturizer. Use one made with soothing oils, aloe and butters that will prevent your skin from getting too dry. Let the moisturizer completely absorb into your skin before applying makeup. 